Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Magilive video. Uh, today we're going to be watching Free Guy. I know we're late, the movie came out. But as you can see, we're very excited about it. I'm excited. You can hear it in my voice. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to head in the car because we're kind of late to the movies. But we're going to do this because we're really excited. It's just a very intriguing, intriguing concept. And I'm just very excited to see Ryan Reynolds and the, all the other amazing actors in this film come together and tell a wonderful story that I can't wait to see unfold. So, yeah, we're gonna go to the movies and... Yes, to the car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi guys. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what to expect, but I don't want to put expectations either. So, yeah, it's, it's overall very exciting. So, uh, Jim. Yeah. How are you feeling I'm about excited. this movie? Oh, I'm very eager to see Ryan Reynolds in the movie. I can actually watch now because he's been in Deadpool. He watched Detective Pikachu, but he was Pikachu. He wasn't Ryan Reynolds. Um, so this is kind of my first time, I guess, seeing, seeing um, Ryan Reynolds as an actual like character in the movie, like actually have his face on the screen. So, and he's always had hilarious videos. So I've been dying to watch a movie of his. So I'm excited. This is like the first one, really. So I'm yeah. excited. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and as for me, I'm extremely intrigued to see how this movie comes out. From the trailers, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Uh, completely, what would you call it? Is it bur burlesque humor? Just completely, just. It seems like there's a lot of slapstick comedy in this movie. Um, we'll but a lot of movies that Ryan Reynolds has made recently seem extremely ridiculous and crazy and out of this world from the outside. But when you go to watch his movies, a, they are super heartfelt. There's still a lot of uh, great themes going on there. So I'm extremely intrigued to see how this movie turns out to be. I think it got a certified fresh in Rotten Tomatoes. And it did really well in the box office. It was exclusively in theaters, so there's that as well to be looking forward to. So we are extremely eager to see how those. We definitely will give you guys our thoughts after. You guys will get to hear from our parents as well. And, and yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you guys enjoy our review. And if you guys haven't, check out our Spider-Man No Way Home trailer reaction. The teaser came out yesterday from when we were recording this. And oh man, what a what a <laughs> what a surprise! We definitely want to um, join you guys on in your excitement for this for this Spider-Man No Way Home movie. But free guy. We cannot wait. Taika Waititi, Joe Keery, Ryan Reynolds. There's an amazing cast. Apparently cameos. And cameos too, from the looks of it, of other um, friends of Ryan Reynolds that are A-list actors that are in this movie. We don't know to what extent or how, um, but we are curious to see how it all kind of plays out. I want to hear your thoughts on what you guys thought of this movie in the comments. Um, because it's been out for a, a little bit now, so um, just tell us what you thought, what your favorite moments were and all that. But here we go. Oh man. So where do we start? <laughs> where do we start? Where uh, to start? Well, it was a fantastic movie. We well can start done. with that. Very well done. Uh, it was... Oh man. Very impressive. Alright, so what do you think, Dan? I, first of all, I'm honored to be blocking the poster behind me. Um, <laughs> I'm honored that this is the purpose you've it given me cool. in this life. If we learned anything from this movie, is the background characters are extremely important. Yes. And if I'm calling... Hey man, Paw Patrol. Hey. <laughs> Gotta love it. But free guy, man. Oh, well, I think your your outfit says it all. It's so, yeah. it's so beautifully done. It was <laughs> so yeah. fun. It's so, I did not expect it to be... Uh, yeah. So I did expect a lot of fun. It, it was it tremendous was fun. 100% that. Yeah. And then... Story-wise, though, it was very unexpected. Very ex like, unexpectedly, was, like, it was better than we expected. It was better than a we lot expected, better, but lot also, better. like, there was a lot of things that sometimes it was hard to expect what was going to happen next. So very, very, very fun. <laughs> this is a movie I wish I could see the actual script and read. The, the writing is absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love that they immersed such a real raw love story between two people into this video game. It's yeah. essentially what it is. So I found myself <laughs> at the end of the movie I'm like getting emotional. I'm like what is going on? This is great. Yeah. So it was it had it had a lot more heart than I expected. Uh, and there's some there's really funny cameos. Some really <laughs> funny cameos. Um, and it's it's kind of hard to express 
the love for the movie without like spoiling, spoiling it. Um, so if you're here for no spoilers, just go watch the movie. It's really good. It's really worth your time if you love video games or if you want a good love story, a laugh. If you love Ryan Reynolds, I know he's an icon in and of himself. Um, this is like officially the first Ryan Reynolds movie I've watched of him actually being a character. Because we watched Detective Pikachu, but he was Pikachu, so you never really saw his face. Same difference. Acting. Same difference. But I'm really glad to say this is my first Ryan Reynolds official movie that I've seen of his. Because um, he did really good. Uh, the whole cast was... The whole cast, man. I Taiko Waititi, Joe Keery. Taiko Waititi. Every, everybody was just on on point and it was it was so believable and so tangible. And it just it made sense. I I loved it. So that's that's my non spoiler review. So what about you mom? I didn't know what to expect coming in, but I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is a hoot. He's so funny. Um, I don't know, comedically it was great. I'm, I'm very picky with comedy, but this one was very, very good. The story was very interesting. I loved it. Mm. I'm not a super like proficient gamer um, person. But well, there were some jokes in there that I was, this was as very I was hearing it, I was like, ah, I don't know. Was, I, was it borderline for you, joke-wise? Would you say at times? Because there's times where there's some jokes in some movies like this. I would say, I don't know. I don't what think it's so much the comedy of the jokes because they weren't that funny. I think it's more of the actions, like the way that he behaved, the way the characters were. The whole story plot element was really funny and yeah. entertaining. Not the jokes per se. But some of them, some of them were funny. Some of them were funny. The story was really funny and interesting. Um, the way that they bring heart to such a crazy movie about video games and you know AI. Yeah. Very very cool. I enjoyed it. I really loved it. I'm glad we saw it in the theater. It was fun. There were definitely a lot of themes in there that I was not expecting. Uh, I think, like we were saying, when you go into a movie like this, you expect one thing because there's yeah. so much action. And at first it was. But then as the movie kept going, more things started to unfold and you started to feel these themes and feelings of like what is it got really That's deep at moments and and there's so many in the midst of all that craziness, there's so many themes in there and messages that are well, bless you. Sorry. <laughs> that are that are human and they're yeah. things that we deal with. So even in the aspect of a video game, it was really cool to kind of see those those themes played out. But I mean and there was so many great cool Easter eggs uh, now that Fox is officially now part of Disney, so there was like cool little nods in there to, to Marvel and Star Wars. If you've seen it, you know what we're talking about. And, oh man, it's just so great! And I'm excited to see Ryan Reynolds um, do more things with Disney, or rather, with with like what he can do, get creative. I feel like all those movies, he, he even kind of broke the wall and this broke the fourth wall with this one as well, but in a new creative way, not not like what he's done in in. Uh, and Deadpool. This is really something different, but he does it in his own style. Um, and then Sean Levy did an amazing job uh, at, at, as uh, for directing this. And Channing Tatum writing. was so <laughs> funny. I I've never an seen actor, it like that, right? Like, as an actor, I don't know how he pulled off such <laughs> a goofy, like, just... Yeah, yeah, his character was kind of. Well, out I wasn't there. expecting that. No. I wasn't either, but he was. He did great. <laughs> he was awesome. Yeah, man. The action was really cool. The scenes, like the fighting sequences and the weapons that they use, like it reminds me so much of. They did such a good job of embodying that video game element. Like I felt like I was watching actual weapons and characters from Fortnite and things like that. Like the way that they move, they walk, they fought, their weapons, like. They did such a great job at making it seem like he's really in this world of video games. Even sometimes the glitching and the the way that the face shifts from like the real when we're in the game versus when the players are looking at the, out, game. At the game from the outside, how they look more distorted. That was really cool. Yeah. There's a lot I could say. This movie was. There's definitely really a great. lot there. Um, yeah, man, it was just so creatively done. I love it. I think. It did things in a way. Ready Player One was an amazing movie, but this way, this movie in a way, it did a really great job at kind of, like I said, kind of enhancing and, mm -hmm. and and trying a new thing, kind of like Ready Player One. But it did remind me a lot of Ready Player One, 
But overall, this is an amazing movie. You guys have to go watch this if you haven't already. And if you have, let us know down below in the comments what you thought, what, what parts appealed to you, what, what made you laugh, what made you cry if it did, um, but what, you, what stood out to you. Again, performances from everyone, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Joe Keery too, it's so cool to see him. Uh, something else besides Steve Harrington, the cool cool babysitter. He was got, got to see a side of him that we haven't really seen before. At least yeah. we haven't. Mm -hmm. And and then Taika Waititi, obviously. Oh, and he was hilarious. Uh, supporting and, and Jody and all of them, man. They're fantastic. So, mm -hmm. so again, go watch this movie. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed our review, our thoughts. And again, we want to hear yours down below in the comments. So and also, the theaters were... Yes, We have theaters, been trying man. to come back to support the theaters. We do believe highly in the importance of having movies aired in the in theaters. theaters and um yeah. you know there's some places that you can't go back to theaters yet so we are very aware of that and we we also are mind very mindful of how many people are in here we were kind of the only ones in the theater actually to be honest yeah. um so it felt really safe at this point to come we are very cautious so um but yeah go ahead you were gonna but no yeah no that definitely go go to the movies whenever you can to try to support that there's definitely nothing like the experience here. I think yeah. a lot of movies are meant to be experienced here. Um, it would not have been the same, I don't think, if we watched this at home. So I'm glad they stuck to the guns and, and kept it in theaters. Um, but we do know, again, that there's places right now that like, theaters aren't open yet. They're still closed down. Or there's just health, health situations that just don't allow it. So we are mindful of that. But if you can, if you're vaccinated and you can go out, go ahead, go to your closest movie theater. But with that, Go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys in the next mm -hmm. video. Have a massive day. Bye. Bye. Don't have a good day. Have a great day.